Hi, my name is Lynn Norris and I've lived here for 11 years. It's the most beautiful place in the world to live and somebody's gonna just fall in love with this house. When you get out of the car, you see my neighbor's yard, which is a park. It even has park benches. This is the world's famous place, this St. Mary's by the Sea. So come on inside. I love this kitchen. It's more than ample, and I can serve dinner outside on that very, very ample deck. And wherever you look, you see the outside. If you're sitting here, if you're sitting here, come here and look at what the person sitting here sees. Extraordinary. So that anybody sitting in the living room is looking out at beautiful, beautiful ash creek. This is what I look at the ospreys with and invite my neighbors to come look at them too. It's more fun when the babies come and you can watch them grow. Um, and big coat closet, big bathroom, into what has been my studio. Paintings, full of paintings and full of, uh, oh, paintings in the making, things like that. It's got a fireplace. There are hardwood floors underneath this carpet. Um, but as I'm getting older, I want it uh, to be able to fall down. <laughs> nice, huh? My son put those maple trees in to make it comfortable um, with the sun. This is one guest room, and here is a guest. <laughs> My daughter made him. Uh, just beautiful. Sometimes that tree is brilliant pink. Do you know that uh, it's, it's one mile to the railroad station that takes you to New York City in an hour and 20 minutes? I mean, it's kind of mind-boggling because this is so different than New York City. You don't have to look in there because I didn't ma make that immaculate. This is the master bedroom. And master bathroom. I have three bedrooms um, and a study up here and two baths, two full baths. When there are no leaves on the trees, you look at Ash Creek. It's just as beautiful when the snow is here or when it's raining or whatever. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place to live. I think the most important thing about living here is Black Rock itself. It is extraordinary. It is the friendliest village I've ever lived in. You know everybody and you know the name of everybody's dogs and you will never ever be lonely because you just take a walk and the dogs introduce you to the, their owners, you know, so you always have people to talk to. I've wonderful police service, wonderful garbage service. I mean, the services are just extraordinary. And every morning I walk to Harborview Market and have homemade croissants. Not every morning. I try not to eat them every day. <laughs> but a beautiful home-cooked breakfast and a lot of camaraderie. And that really is this part of Bridgeport. It's really called Black Rock and used to belong to Fairfield. And the state gave it to Bridgeport, which is odd, but it is just a village. It's so different. I lived for 23 years in Weston and 11 here, and I know everybody now and everybody knows me but before you go you have to see my basement because i'm so proud of it oh. by the way we are not in the flood zone here we are in something called um a place where you have to take care of the shoreline uh, patty knows what it is but it's not in the flood zone i'm 25 feet higher than anybody else around so it's not legally in a flood zone at all. So everything's safe and cozy here. Um, so, but I just want you to follow me around and see the size of this. Um, amazing, amazing. All my luggage for faraway travel. My laundry. It just goes on and on. The oil tank is down here. 
This is what my kids call the gift shop, which means if you want something, take it. So, I've had absolutely no trouble living here. Everything functions perfectly. You could move in today and everything would be in perfect order. Before you leave, you have to see my wonderful garage. I'm so grateful for it during the winter to always be able to step out in a very warm car. And it holds two giant cars. Whoever the new owners of this house will be, I can't wait to meet you. You're very lucky because you will never be happier than you are right here. It just, I think it's one of the things that kept me so young is the being able to, the invitation to walk every day.